Well, here is the Micro 68 microcomputer built by Electronic Products Associate, Associates of San Diego, California. It's called the Micro 68 because it uses the Motorola 6800 microprocessor. This computer was published uh, article on it in Radio Electronics in 1976 of June. This computer actually is pretty artsy looking. It has the beautiful wooden pieces on the end, the smoke glass cover, which is very pretty, and it uses the 6800 microprocessor chip, and it uses two of the 6820 chips, one for the keyboard encoder and one for the display. The display consists of six seven segment displays. Uh, the computer capability is actually fairly small. It has um, 512 bytes of firmware here in the in the ROM. You see the date code on that of 1977. So that's the little monitor program. The computer comes with 128 bytes of, of read-write memory. Uh, we can put in up to 768 bytes of RAM. And you can add a static RAM card for $270 uh, at the 1976 prices of 8K of RAM and attach it here to the interface connector. It also brings the data bus out for teletype or other events. You can buy a teletype interface called the TTY RS-232C adapter for $40, and the software is about $20 for that. The computer itself sold for $430 in wired form, kit form $385. Of course, the displays are multiplexed. The power supply is an external transformer, plugs into the wall, and then the little power supply components with the diodes and rectifier and filter on board. So it's a fairly simple computer, had kind of a complex, well, I won't say complex, but a really neat approach to programming with some special functions here, double functions of the keys um, to uh, load programs, display programs, and execute programs. Here are the pull-up resistors for the data bus and extra memory slots for uh, EEPROMs, extra memory slots here for read-write uh, read memory. This particular version, version M, um, like I said, this is a 1977 version. Very nice, uh, very beautiful computer and, and quite fine for learning programming um, and with a little bit of work you could do some interfacing and so forth. I don't think it actually very, it was a very popular computer, uh, even though it was pretty. I purchased these from a fellow in Dayton. In 1995, I say purchased these, but I think I purchased six of them. They were deactivating a teaching lab, and uh, so I was glad to get, get these computers. Very nice, very nice, very pretty computers. I'm just happy to have them here in the Bug Book Computer this Museum.